Indoor season is upon us. But picking the right indoor shoes isn't always easy. You need them to be comfortable, have an unmarking insole, and there's tons of other stuff to decide on. So as always, we've got you covered. Because today I'm gonna give you the top five best indoor shoes of 2019. But to be honest, <laughs> they've actually been kind of hard to rank because they're all really good shoes. So my suggestion is that you go with the shoe that feels like the right option for you. And as long as they're from this list, I can basically vouch for all of them. Fifth place goes out to the Puma 365 Roma Lite, which might not only be a dream for freestylers because they can kind of use this to replace their old worn down Puma archive lights, but it's just a good shoe overall. See, not only do you have this extremely flexible EVA outsole from the archive lights, you also get a pretty thin, very soft mesh upper with a bit of texture welded into the toe box to give you a nice and well-connected feel on the ball. And the comfort and fit is pretty top-notch, not only because of the thin soft mesh, but also because of this here one-piece tongue construction. And on top of everything, according to the name as well, the shoe is ridiculously light for an indoor shoe. The only problem, as I see, is the stability and lockdown. That could be better. But overall, it's very good. In fourth place, we have a bit of a similar concept with a mesh textile upper and a one-piece tongue construction. But the Vapor 13 Pro IC simply gives you a more speed boot-like vibe. It has a very soft upper that's softer straight out of the box than the Pumas, but simply also feels more stable and sturdy, whilst giving you a more sleek sensation and an outsole that really makes you feel like you're constantly on your toes. And okay, this might not be the lightest thing ever, but the lockdown is very good. You got a nice and low toe box and a whole lot of grip thanks to this slightly sticky Nike skin texture that sits on top of the mesh textile. So if you're out there looking for the feel of a speed football boot, but for indoors, this is pretty much the one. Third place goes out to a bit of a, I guess we can call it a modern classic, the Nike Luna Gato 2s, which came out all the way back in 2013. But was so good and such a love shoe that Nike simply just decided to bring it back for real. And this might be one of those shoes that has a bit more bulk than the other shoes on the list, but it also has this perfect weight behind it when you strike the ball. And okay, it might be as much of a street shoe as a dedicated indoor shoe, but with this very soft, lovely goat leather upper, it has the Nike grind on the toe box for protection, durability, and a little bit of grip on the ball. And this really bouncy Luna Lawn outsole, it not only feels like a very classy and elegant shoe, but also has boat loads of comfort. So if you play both outdoors and also occasionally indoors, this is a workhorse and I absolutely love it. But if you are an indoor shoe connoisseur and you want a shoe tailor-made for that specific purpose, well, this shoe is right up there. The Nike Premier 2 Salas, which gives you basically, well, it's a very no-nonsense shoe. You get a suede upper, a mesh midfoot, and a slightly thinner Luna Lawn outsole than on the Gatos. And that's kind of it. No bells and whistles, just an extremely comfortable shoe with a rather elegant touch and this suede here that provides a perfect balance between grip and a close feel. You also get a relatively solid sensation and that nicely weighted feel that I also talked about with the Luna Gatos here, but also in a really lightweight and nimble package. And for me, this is perhaps the best all-round, well-balanced indoor shoe for most of you guys out there. And for people wearing the handball special from Adidas, this is basically the same, only more elegant and nimble, and in my opinion, frankly better for football. And speaking of the Adidas handball special here, we can't do a top five indoor shoes without an honorable mention to that. It's a bit of an indoor classic, especially in Scandinavia here, and that's not for nothing because it's a great shoe, 
always delivers, but as you can see, compared to the Premier 2 Salas, it's a bit of a chunky fella. And the same thing can kind of be said for the Jumbo Legend 8 Pros and the Joma Super Regates. They're nice, they're comfortable, but they're also a little bit bulky. And to be honest, these are great alternatives, but I probably prefer staying with the shoes that are actually on the top five list instead. But for the connoisseurs out there, I've selected this bad boy as my number one. The Mizuno Morelia Indoors, which is basically just the outdoor Mizuno Morelia 2 made in Indonesia in an indoor version. You get some of the comfiest, most elegant and softest leather around on an indoor shoe. Gives you this almost slipper-like sensation. But on one of Mizuno's really thin and very flexible indoor soles here, with a bit of a new buck toe liner to give you that protection and durability that we expect from a Mizuno product. It's got really good grip and that exceptionally elegant feeling when you're on the court. And for me, as an outdoor footballer, playing indoors occasionally, this is pretty much the perfect thing. And I think you guys will like it too. So there you have them, fellas. The top five shoes for indoor football in 2019. Now remember that all of these shoes come in a lot of different colorways. So if you're not down with what you see right here, well, there are tons of other colors that you can pull out in, in case you want the shoe, but you want it to look different. But guys, which indoor shoe would be your pick for the year? Well, you should let us know in the comment section, as always, right down below. But before you bounce, don't forget to also go and click the subscribe button, hit the bell notification button to see all our latest videos the second they drop. Before you slide over to the playlist over there to learn some pretty wicked skills and how to improve as a footballer. And with that said, guys, I've been your boy Jay. I'm signing off. Cheerio.